Now, let's take a look at page 136. Try it one in your textbook. You can copy down my working in your textbook as well. All right, it's good practice. Okay, the circle has a radius of 3.5 centimeter. So as good practice, what do I do? Please write down R is equal to 3.5. Now, what did the first part of the question wants you to do? I'm supposed to find the circumference of the circle. So, if I want to find the circumference of the circle, what did I say previously? There are only two important formula. The first formula is called 2 pi r for the circumference. Let me write it down. Okay, 2 has a number. What if the number for pi, look over here, is given in the question. Please, whenever you replace an unknown by a number, please put a bracket. Alright, as you have done in the previous chapter under change of subject. What is the value of r over here? 3.5. Now, can you pause and press the calculator? Alright, I got the answer. Okay, please take note. All answer needs to be corrected to three significant figures because 3.142 is an estimated answer. I say again, all answer must be corrected to three significant figure. All right, if I need to correct to three significant figure for this 21.994, let's take a look. One, two, this is the third significant figure. Look at the number behind. Nine is bigger. So what do I do? I will need to round up. If I were to round up, nine will become a zero. So if I become a zero, I will need to write down 22.0. Zero. And this will be your answer. And take a look at the question. It's in centimeter. Please write down in centimeter. All right. Let's take a look at part B now. Very similar. Part B. If I want to find the area, just write down the area formula. You have learned this before as well. Pi R square, as in, in primary school. What is the value of pi? Please take note. Is 3.142, put it in bracket. Because there's an R, 3.5. And please write the square outside the bracket. Alright? After that, press the calculator. If you get 38.4895, you are on the right track. But is this answer good enough? No. Why? I've emphasized all answer must be corrected to three significant figures. So, let me look at the third significant figure. One, two, three. This is the third one. Look at the number behind. It's bigger than five. So, I will have to round up. So, in this word, I have to round up the four to a five. And since this is area, you will be centimeter squared. Alright? So, very clear cut. I can find both the circumference and the area using the two formula and plug in the value. Please take note, you must always know the value of R, which is the radius. Alright, the next question is a backward question. Why do I say that? Okay, take a look at the question carefully. The area is given to be 42, but you're supposed to find the radius. Previously, the radius was given, but now they give you the area. No worry, we are just going to work backwards. Alright, what's the area formula? Let's write it out. I R square. Alright? Now, the area is given. What is the area? 42. This means that pi R square is equal to 42. Alright? I do not know the value of R. This is the question mark. But, I know the value of pi. Please put in the value of pi. As you have learned in the previous video, alright, on change of subject, I need to find the value of R, means I make R the subject, alright? My R square is on the left side of my equal sign. I only want R, alright? So the first thing to take care, you can see 
that 3 by 1, 4, 2 is multiplied to r squared. So if I were to balance over here, what you need to do is to write r squared divided by 42 over 3.142. Let me press the calculator. All right. After using the calculator, I have r squared to get 13.367. Remember, your job is to find the radius of the circle. I do not want r squared. So basically, I just need the value of r. So what must I do to get rid of the square? All right, you will need to actually introduce square root. All right, this is something new, but I'm very certain you know how to press the square root button inside your calculator. I'm going to say this again. If you need to get rid of the square, you need to introduce square root. All right, this is something new today. So press the calculator square root. All right. Your final answer will give us 3.6561, but I want it estimated to three significant figures. So it should be 3.66 centimeter. Next, part B wants us to find the circumference of the circle. All right, let me write down the formula for circumference of a circle. All right, if you recall, circumference of a circle, 2 pi r. All right, I have already found the radius in part A. So I'm going to tackle this question now. Pi is given in the question. Remember, put it in bracket. The radius is found in your previous answer. All right, I will not use the 3.66 answer because that is an estimated answer. I'll use a more accurate answer, which is 3.6561. Now, press the calculator. My answer is 22.974. Is this answer good enough? No. All answer must be estimated to 3SF. All right? The third significant figure here is number 9. After number 9 is 7, means I need to round up number 9 to a 0. So this will be your final answer in, in centimeter. All right, this is the rate uh, circumference. This is the last example for today. You can refer to page 137. All right, so in 137, the circumference of a circle is given 22.7. All right, find the radius. Again, it's a backward question, all right? They did not give you the radius, but they gave you the circumference. We have seen something similar like this as well. Don't worry, write down as many information as you can, all right? So in this case, we have the circumference given to us. So let me write it down. Circumference. What is the formula for circumference? Two pi r. And what do we need to do? This is equal to 22.7 as given in the question up there. Hey, recall what we did last time. All right. If I want to find the radius, this means that I need to make r the subject. If I want to make r the subject, it must be on the left side of the equal sign. What is the meaning of two times pi times r? That's what you have, right? 2 pi r. So if I only want r to be by itself, what do I need to do? I make r the subject. And if you balance this 2 and pi on the other side because of multiply, it becomes a divide. 2 pi. All right? This is 2 pi. So after that, I can evaluate my answer now. Remember, in order for you to press the calculator, you need to write down the value of pi, 3.142. Now press the calculator. 3.6123. Notice there's a lot of decimal. I write up to 5 first. Then I estimate to 3SF again. 
this is the radius of the circle. However, the next part of part B wants us to find the area of the circle. We have found the radius. Now we need to find the area. How do we find area? We call the formula with me, pi r squared. I hope you got it the same as mine. So what do we do to the radius? 3.61, and remember, we are supposed to write the square on the outside. Is this good enough? No, sorry. All right, you also need to write the value of pi out. Put it in bracket. Now, press the calculator. Your answer will be 40.946, but I need to round out to three significant figures, so I have a 41 point, point, sorry, apology. There's no rounding up. This is a mistake. Okay, because the number after number nine is four. Four is small. So, so maintain the number 40.9 centimeters squared. And there you have it. Please make use of my example today to try to complete the task that I give you. All right, you have no lesson on Thursday. This means that you have ample time to finish up before Friday. Thank you very much.